we're gonna need an exhaust system on this truck. I think you guys better go spam Fab Rats, see if he wants to build an exhaust system for it. Just gotta get her in, get her stripped down, and get the bodywork started. Let's go. Looks like it's had a little previous work on this corner right here. Sometimes if you don't get it sealed in there like the backside, that's when your moisture comes in and it starts popping. I don't ever trust him behind me. So we'll get this old body work out, get it fixed up, then we'll go through and see what damage there is. So far it looks actually in real good shape. For being a 91, yeah. We're back at it again, working on Aiden's truck. I'm getting this tailgate all disassembled and doing all the body work on it. Cody is gonna be working on the bed and start getting it all straightened and get this truck back together. And over this way, slight low spot right here, a little bit of a crack from previous filler work there. It's actually in pretty good shape. Gotta figure out what we're doing on the inside. I'd say bed liner, so it don't end up like this again. We'll have to wait and see. So right now I'm removing the latch assembly. And there's little clips, so the rod, has an elbow elbow on it it drops in this clip locks onto the rod so that way it can't just pop out so now i can show you exactly how it works so the rod just slips in now it can't just fall out vibrations won't knock it out or nothing well there's one side get the other side tore out second latch expertly removed just like the other side light crease like a branch or something went down it or someone's mirror just going through and pulling it out. Just ground off the paint where the dent was, where the actual crease, little crease. Couple layers of paint on here we gotta feather out, but we'll just go through and pull this out, feather everything in, do a coat of filler, sand the filler, the sanding everyone loves to watch. This is the stud, little stud. They changed it from back in the day when you had little pins, you'd weld the pins on here. You can still use the pin gun, stud gun, whatever you wanna call it, but every time you do that, it'd leave a dimple. Twice the size of a normal pencil lead is what it'd weld on there, then you'd cut it off, have to grind it then you'd weaken your metal sometimes you'd pull holes and have to go through and weld up the holes we'll just keep moving all the way along till we get this one pulled out now we'll work on this your favorite far from my favorite Volkswagen's better than Chevrolet this tool right here is made for is taking emblems off because it's thin has a sharp edge to it to cut through the double-sided tape Make it easier. I think that may be black mold. Found a decoration to put on the front of your toolbox. Double side tape to your toolbox. We'll stick it on the red Ford outside and he's not watching. That's fighting words right there. Now I'm gonna grab my eraser wheel. <laughs> well, it's not smearing it like someone said it would. Well, this is cracking out. We're gonna grind out and see what we got underneath and see why it failed. <laughs> Looks like we got a little crack in the metal. We got a weld up right here. That's probably the culprit. We'll just finish grinding it out. It's a very messy job running that eraser wheel. Some of it did smear like Cody said. So I just wanna get some Acrosol, spray it on there and scrub it off. So that way I can see if there's any body damage or any dents or what I have to fix. Definitely have a little bit of sanding in front of me. Looks like whoever painted it last just used spray paint. Now I'm seeing just a dent right there. It looks like they touched this up with rattle can. Yeah, cause the eraser wheel just barely touching it. Burnt through right here. Yeah. So now, I'm gonna grind out where all the marks that I did for the dents, ground it out to bare metal, then I can sand this whole tailgate. More dents may pop up once you start sanding through everything. Now you can really see the dent. Still color showing where I couldn't get with the grinder going flat. Now I'm gonna grab my DA and start sanding my life away. Oh, hey, camera guy, you wanna see something cool? Yes. So one of you awesome fans sent me. Take a break from sanding, I'll show you guys. What is that? It's the Moto Harley Davidson Cycles, Tin Can Man. Is that supposed to be you? Uh, that's what I'm guessing, it looks a lot like me. I think it's really cool. So the guy that made this really cool mini me, I do really appreciate it, it is really awesome. I'm gonna go take it home and hang it up and let my kids enjoy it as much as I do. So thank you, Donald Roberts, I really do like it. Back to the very boring sanding stuff again.
All right, so just checking out what Hillbilly's been up to. This tailgate had a lot of love over the years. So it's a 91, it's got a few different paint jobs. So there's about three or four different paint jobs. There's a layer of primer, sealer, white, gray, black, gray, white, factory gray. So this was a white tailgate in its first life and it was a white tailgate in its second to last life. Now it's gonna be maroon. We're gonna get this all stripped down a little bit more, get all these little dents worked out. We might do Chevrolet across the back. What do you guys think? Should we paint Chevrolet across the back? Let us know in the comments. If you guys think that'll look cool, we'll Gerber mask it and we'll paint it all the way across Chevrolet. Maybe we'll put Aiden Chevrolet. All right, so Cody's been hard at it on this bad side. This is way worse than tailgate. There's like a quarter of an inch of layers of paint. So we're gonna be stripping this entire side. Ooh, getting it all worked around. He's got the porter power out. He was pushing it around, getting the metal all worked out. Big old dent here. That would need a, a pound of Bondo just to fill in the gap where all the paint's at. So we're gonna get what's called a mud hog. I'm just gonna mud hog this side off all the way back down to bare metal. Gonna be welding up all these holes on the top rail, getting this thing smooth and straight. So this has a natural curve right in the center. But right there's pretty straight, there's pretty straight. We're making a lot of headway, getting a lot of stuff done, but it's late, so we're headed home. It is tomorrow. Dude, you stole my thing. Dinner said I couldn't use yours, and now you're stealing mine. Because of how many layers of paint is on this, we're gonna strip it. So we got a mud hog with some 36 grit. We're gonna grind this off. All right, so you can see, I didn't go all the way down to bare metal with the 36 because it's so abrasive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to 80 and kind of fine tune it with the 80 grit and see what that does. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. There's a little baby dent there. Feels pretty dang good once you get the paint off of it. We'll take an 80, we'll take a, a normal DA and we'll DA it all and start doing our body work. We're gonna take this out back and throw some chemical stripper on the tailgate and get it stripped down and start the metal work. Okay, when you use chemical stripper, you want it outside in a well-ventilated area. The bottom of this tailgate looks like it may need it too. And this is the new environmental friendly with the non-methylene chloride in it. I don't know if this stuff's any good, man. We'll find out. Well, it's changed color. It's like tar. Isn't it supposed to be yellow? That's why you spread it out. I guess we'll see if it works. I don't I've know. I've always if it's seen good. it in a I was airsoft just doing can. That little section of it's barbecue sauce. It's probably not good. So after we scrape it, we'll hit it with some water and neutralize it. But yeah, we're gonna see if this stuff's even good. If not, we'll order a new gallon tomorrow and start over. Baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Okay. Let her sit. We'll let her set. Come back and check her out. I got him. Thank you, dinner. You're welcome. The reason it's taking me so long, because I've been grinding this for like 16 hours now, is I wanted to go low, low, and slow, because I didn't want to heat the panel up, because when you heat it up, it warps the metal. There's almost nothing. There's like two little spots I can fill that are gonna need some Bondo work. We're gonna strip it all off. It'll all look like this. We'll get down inside the cracks, Dig it out with the DA, the some 80 grit, and then we'll 180 the whole panel. We'll get it smooth where we can actually fill it really well. Right now, you fill the grinder marks, go in different directions, and it throws your hand off. Gotta not trick your hand. It's gonna be completely worth it when this side looks so good going down the road with Aiden behind the wheel. Just... <laughs> actually, it'd be more like, because it's a V6. We're gonna need an exhaust system on this truck. I think you guys better go spam Fab Rats, see if he wants to build an exhaust system for it. Flowmaster Super 10. Dinner has spoken, Paul. This truck needs some Flowmaster Super 10s. You're just the guy to do it. All right, team, go spam Paul. Any video, doesn't matter. Spam him, we need his help. We'll even pay him, it's fine. But it'd be cool, because then we can go down and hang out with him for the day. I think this stuff's really old. <laughs> We found some old original stuff, spray cans of it. So we'll get this cleaned off and get that other stuff put on. This stuff was working, but not very, not very good. Second round of plastic. Yo! All over your shirt. Yes! I've been waiting for this my whole life. Waiting for hours. As Cody kept saying five more minutes. Three hours later. The old stuff works way better. More pressure, man, more pressure. 
Okay, we scraped off what it loosened up. It wouldn't touch the original sealer that GM had on there from the 90s, but that's no big deal. We just got 80 grit it off. So now Hillbilly's gonna neutralize it, we'll let it dry out for the night. So on this tailgate, the chemical stripper did a little bit, but not a whole lot. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the eight inch mud hog and we're just gonna strip the rest of it off and start from scratch. So some of this original paint stuck really well, but there's about 10 different layers on top of it that came right off. A little bit of body work from probably the 1800s is what it looks like. We'll get it all stripped down and get this thing straight again. I've actually got to take off and head up to Salt Lake. We've got to deliver a tow truck body to Rocky Mountain Wrecker Sales and then go over to Salty Gears Off-Road and check out what the frame looks like. Kevin up there at Powder Extreme Coatings has got it all powder coated. All the suspension is matched. I'm excited to go check it out and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we made it to Salty Gears Off-Road. We're gonna go get Tony. He's grabbing a forklift. We're gonna unload all this stuff that we brought up to him and then go check out the frame and see the progress. So does this kit utilize the stock spindles? It retains the stock spindle, yes. You moved our control arms down. So we'll replace all the control arms and all the suspension components will be new. Perfect. So you can see everything got powder matched. This is the maroon of the truck. So Kevin called me and he got the paint code and he had this custom match to the exterior of the truck. So it's gonna be maroon, and black accents. Everything on this is gonna be brand new. All right, so we've burned up enough of Tony's time today. So we're gonna head back to Ephraim, get back to work on Aiden's bed. He's got the axle going together, all the suspensions here, the frames here. This thing's gonna start coming together and looking like a truck again. So we appreciate it. Yep. If anybody has anything four-wheel drive related that you need taken care of, head over to Salty Gears website, saltygearsoffroad.com. It's pretty simple. <laughs> so it's another day, we're back at it. We're working on Aiden's truck. Gotta get these axles moved so we can get the hood, the cab, and the fenders over to the paint booth so that way we can get them fully prepped and ready for paint. So this 91 is disguising as a 97. I think it's gonna look good when we're done. The door is off a 2000. A door, but it's still more trying to pull off with 97. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know that me and Hillbilly and Demery are gonna be at the Pomona Off-Road Expo on October 1st and October 2nd. Come hang out with us at the Fairplex. We'll be there at the KMC booth on Saturday. We'll be at the BFG booth on Sunday. Come say hi, get your picture, just hang out with us. It's gonna be fun. Pomona, California, October 1st and 2nd at the Fairplex for the Off-Road Expo. It's gonna be a real good, rich time. He wasn't paid to say that either. Yesterday we done the paint stripper, got most of the paint off, but there's some paint that it didn't get off and some of the Bondo that it didn't get off, so <laughs> I want to sand it off. Getting ready to block out the cab doors. Uh, any low spots we gotta fix and get fixed, and so we can get it sanded in the morning and painted. Starting to come off? Starting to, barely. <laughs> Once Cody informed me to use 80 grit, it's working a lot better on stripping this. I thought he knew. I'm a beginner. I don't know. <laughs> me and Cody are getting to work on Aiden's front end. So I'm blocking out the hood. Cody's over here working on the door. He's already got the one door blocked out and then we got to block out the fenders. We're going to fix the imperfections. We're going to get them spot primed. Then we're going to get it prepped out. 600 grit, get it sealed, based, cleared, and get it looking good. I'm just finding all sorts of imperfections on this hood, but that's what you get with aftermarket. I've got three quarters of this hood blocked. It's really not that bad. I'm gonna find a few little spots that I'm gonna glaze. I'm gonna finish blocking out this center section with 320, then I'm gonna fix my imperfections. I'm not gonna reprime the whole thing. I'm gonna guide coat the whole thing, and I'm gonna use 600 grit and get rid of my 320 scratches. All right, so I've just about got this all blocked out. Now I'm just getting this ridge crisping the lineup. I'm not gonna do anything down in here. I'm just gonna 600 all that, so I'm leaving it. So this is just about to the point where I'm gonna move on to a fender. Cody's about finished up with his two doors. They're looking pretty good. As you can see in the background, it's super dark. So we're just gonna get this stuff blocked out tonight, and then we're gonna do all the little spot repairs tomorrow. Get them primed, get it all 600 grit, get it in the booth. So you just sand it and fill it and block it and, until it's good. The guide coat is just that, it's a guide. Now I've just got right here, a little bit more through here. I'm not gonna try to flat block off this because it's rounded. So when you're blocking, you wanna make sure you get comfortable. So I'm not reaching way over, so I move it over to the edge, kind of like what Cody's doing. And you just start, you start blocking. You wanna change your pattern so that you're doing a crisscross. 
Your third hand comes into play here. All right, so I'm gonna explain the type of blocks I use. This is an acrylic block. It's made out of acrylic, super rigid. Check this out. If you would have used a different type of block, such as a Dura block, all this would have sanded out and it would have looked good, but then it wouldn't look good once it's painted. So you see all these little imperfections that are showing up. And I run my hand across this and it actually feels really good. We can't be having good enough. It's gotta look really, really good. And no pressure. Let your sandpaper do the work. It's blocking out nice. Not gonna need a reprime. Just the little spots <laughs> have mud work. <laughs> but like a full reprime. You want know dinner? Don't you laugh at me, okay? You just keep on sanding. And the imperfections just like fall off the panel. All right, so I'm getting close to having this thing blocked. I've got all of this surface done. I'm just gonna go through here with my one inch and get this all worked out. I've got a bad spot down here that I'm gonna have to work out of it. So you wanna block until you can't block anymore. If you got material, cut it down. All right, so I got my body line taped. I got my body line block for GM. It's gonna block to the tape, get this all smoothed in. Blocking out way nice. Got this all blocked out, got my body line there. So I've got one little baby spot right here. I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. And one spot right here on this fender. Two or three spots on the hood. This fender is awesome compared to the other one. We just gotta pull the tape off. We've got our line all crispy. We'll round that off with 600. So it's got a real nice little transition. This one just needs a little bit of spot work right here, a little bit here, and right here. We're tired, so it is tomorrow. Cody's starting on the metal work. Hillbilly's over there stripping the tailgate. And Dinsky's slinging the camera. So what I've done is I've used this eight inch DA and I've ground it all off with 36 grit. And then I went back over it really slow with 80 grit on the, on the eight inch. And just got all the paint off. Surprisingly, so right here, if you would have felt this before, all these little spots, they felt like they were all low. Now that we've got all that 20 layers of paint off, these spots are high. So we're gonna have to actually go through and hammer and dolly everything back down that we pulled out because now it's all out too far. But before it had so much paint that it felt like it was in. This side is actually pretty dang good now that it's stripped. So I'm gonna finish stripping the back corner and then I'm gonna grab a DA with normal 80 grit on it and we're just gonna sand the whole thing smooth so that we can start doing some metal work. I don't do that. What? I have a joke for you. Oh, let's hear it. Do you? How do you make an octopus laugh? How do you make an octopus laugh? Hmm, how do you make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. Ten tickles. Ten pickles. No. <laughs> Ten pickles. Ten tickles. Ten tickles. <laughs> ten tickles? <laughs> like tentacles. <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we got another one. Oh, you, we don't have you got another one? All let's right, hear well, it. let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a funny one. What does the toilet say to the other toilet? What does the toilet say to the other toilet? I, I don't know. What's the toilet say to the other toilet? You look flushed. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so funny. It's just funny. More? You all out of jokes? Give me a high five. All joked you. out. Thanks for listening to my dad jokes. <laughs> Thanks for telling us, sweetie. We're getting back to work, okay? Bye. Alan's got this tailgate completely stripped where we can actually start doing body work on it. There's a couple small dents. Not bad, but we'll get it fixed. Going through and we were stripping this, we noticed this whole spot right here was bondoed from the a previous damage. Usually take a turn too sharp, side swipe a tree a little bit or a post or something. Been going through and pulling it. It's been pulling out really nice and easy. There'll be a lot less filler in this. And there's a little crease that was left. And I ground it here, but you can kind of see here in the reminiscence of what paint's left. We'll go through and grind that out. Just go through and keep pulling, getting this straight to where we ain't gonna have that much filler, just a skim coat. Go from there. Make sure it's clean so you can get a good bite with your electrode on the tip here. All right, so I just got called on a dispatched to tow. So I'm gonna head over, do that. These guys are gonna stay working. Actually, you won't even know that we're gone. It'll be that quick.
close. Got some dents we can get to from the back side with the hammer. So we're just gonna hammer and dolly them out, get it smoothed out. Probably not have to do no pull. I'm just gonna be able to hammer and dolly it and we'll be good. We're checking down here on the bottom where we had a little bit of metal work left. Very little bit of a teeter right there. So we got a little bit of a high spot right here. We got to tap down. We got it. No movement at all. All the metal work is done on the passenger side of the bed. I almost forgot my safety glasses. You want to wear these. That is for sure. You about got it? About got it, yeah. A little bit more. All right, so we pretty well got this entire thing stripped. Cody's got the metal work done on the passenger side. I'm gonna go grab my hammer and dolly. We're gonna get the metal work done on this little dent that we already pulled. Dang, dinner, you're looking good. That's a nice shirt you got there. It's dinner time. Hey, you wanna head over to the website right now, robbylayton.com, get yourself an It's Dinner Time shirt because they are running out quick. And once they're gone, they're well, gone. they might just be gone until we get more. So you don't wanna miss out. If you guys have been on the fence thinking about getting one of his shirts, head over there right now, robbylayton.com, get yourself an It's Dinner Time shirt. All right, so from about here to here, we've over pulled it a little bit because when we had all that paint on, we thought we needed to. So I've got my dolly and my hammer. I can get my arm in there. <laughs> I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to come from the other side in there. Just wanna feel it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna hit it too far. You can actually hear the metal when it's hitting on the dolly. Going. So when you when you hit with your hammer, you can see that you like hit and slide. I kind of hit and slide. Yeah. It's just something I do. So I'm, like, so I'm not just I'm not just pounding it. I'm trying to massage the metal. I mean, you can direct hit it, but I like to kind of. Probably just bad habit. Like a preference thing, or it's probably just bad habit. Eh, it's not bad. I mean, it works. So I don't want to smash the metal. I want to massage it. We've got a little bit of a dent right there that needs to come out. Just giving it a little back rub. Feels pretty good to about right there. Got a little bit through here. I'm gonna forcefully put my arm in. <sighs> got it. Do not shove your arm in the bedside at home. It's gonna it's... be hard to get out. Might have to call the fire department. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good there. <sighs> got it. I'm gonna call that good. So we've got this, the metal work here done. It's all stripped. Cody side, all stripped, got his metal work done. We're just about there to start doing body work. Hillbilly's got his tailgate all stripped. This thing needs a lot of metal work. We're gonna be doing metal work on this next. Ah, got a big old crease here that's gotta be pulled. We've got a lot of metal work to do on this still. I think what we're gonna do also is fill in all these top holes and just get the top bed line. So we'll bring the bed liner out and over the rails. I think that'll look sweet. What do you guys think? Over the rails? Let us know what you think in the comments and we'll talk to Aiden on that one. All right, as always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.